Hello, Internet. My name is Strunky. This is the Road to Excellence in Turin 3. This is the star of the night, or day, or whatever the hell your time is at the moment. This is not an epic match or anything like that. But when I was talking about the Turin 3, which is a pretty decent premium tank with a uh, good gun on tier 5. A friend of mine was, you know, saying it's an okay tank, but he said like, well, yeah, just try and get in the top 5 of XP in that thing in a tier, eight, uh, tier 7 match. And well, I grabbed that tank for a spin until the matchmaker hit me and I was like, challenge accepted. Which, uh, <laughs> well, which will pretty much prove that you can do okay in uh, bottom tiers. Which is something, you know, not every person believes. But the main problem with this thing is not its fighting capability. This is a fine machine. The main problem with this tank is basically the low ammo count. Which, you know, I was a bit skeptical about when my friend told me uh, this thing has just barely any ammo. And I was like, well, 30 shells, it's not that bad. It's not like 15 or 20, 30. Hmm. But uh, with this match, I kind of found out like, yeah, well, it could use a bit more shells indeed. So we are here on Prokhorovka or Fiery Salient. Yeah, Fiery Salient. And I am shooting at this VK and I actually bounced two times on him and well one another shot derps and if you just keep on uh, shooting like that earlier you saw me sniping that ELC as well you know in a match like that where you just have those risky shots where you need to snipe I mean bottom tier comes down to sniping at the start that's just the way it goes otherwise you die. And uh, you need to have that ability to snipe. And well, when you're sniping, there are going to be a lot of misses. And you'll just see how quickly that will drain my ammo count. So again, this is not going to be anything epic or special. But it just shows you that stuff like the, these tanks, when you're bottom tier, you know you can do something. You can always do something. Well, almost always. There are those few tiny moments where you not really can do anything, but you know. There's a side of an Oni, which is pretty armored actually. But I pen him. Which is pretty good. It's a nice big target. Now there's the KV1S, which uh, backs off, goes into cover, but gets nailed by an IS. Tiger is pushing, T29 is pushing a bit as well, and I'm trying to keep up with them and give that sniping support towards the middle, but well, the VK is coming this way, but I miss again. So yeah, you're, I'm kind of forced to snipe here, but not everything is going to hit, not everything is going to pen, because that gun mantlet is pretty strong on that VK for a tier 5 medium. Onto the attack further up on line two. Uh, there was a tiger over there, and oh, we get spotted. Now, that tiger doesn't have too much armor, but he is angling it. But I have a side and uh, penning this tier seven and killing him. That's my second kill. First kill was the uh, VK. Now, there's an OI experimental, which I am shooting in the side and turret and whatnot. and just trying to get that kill but uh, I did switch to premium ammo for that thing because it was angled uh, I shot two premium shells as, as, as I can see now and my AP is also running out together with also two HE shells now we're gonna wait for that T43 to spot something and there's the OI experiment to spot again as I shoot some premium ammo his way probably not needed because he doesn't have 
any uh it that doesn't have that much armor not like an oi but you can see i'm shooting premium ammo at the side of this tiger p but i'm just not not really hitting him just like that side oh there's another one in and there's another one in. that's my premium ammo and i even bounced on him with premium now i'm gonna shoot ap again and ah uh, just those bounces you know and i think i have a side but it doesn't look like it and then i shoot him on fire just suddenly out of nowhere just bounce 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 and fire that was actually a I, forgive me for pronouncing this in such a bad way but levoslios metal levoslios levis level uh, well, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it, but it's basically killing two tanks of uh, two tiers higher than you with the medium tank, which were the Tiger P and the Tiger. Yes, not the experimental and not the uh, VK either. And the only I only hit once. So yeah, that's the both both Tigers I killed with the Turin 3 um, which is p pretty funny because it's the Turin 3 is German as well so I killed both the Tigers uh, got the Arsonist Metal Duelist uh, sorry not Duelist Fighter and Fire for Effect together with the Master Badge second class yeah this tank is pretty promising but you saw the low amount of ammo I was left on and uh, as far as the team goes we had a Beast ELC and the T43 did good as well uh, so did our Tiger and uh, well, the Tiger now, good sniping tank on a map like that. Lots of targets to hit with that 88. And yeah, that was a good match. And I was fourth place actually. And uh, fourth place for damage and XP. Yeah. So there you go. It proves you, you can do uh, actually something good when you're bottom tier. And yeah, this is basically also to my friend, you know, challenge accepted. I'm in the top five with two run three in a tier seven match. That's good. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.